So tip number three is practice mindfulness. One of my most advocated practical tips in improving mental health and can achieve all the other tips is practicing and understanding mindfulness. Mindfulness has become increasingly popular due to the evidence of mindfulness positively affecting and improving mental health for so many different facets of it, if not arguably all the facets. With a focus on engaging more deeply on attention and acceptance, the practice can really help us within the confines of reality. Think of solutions and decrease the heightened charge of emotional responses and reactions, which impacts our mental health. There is growing research that mindfulness-based interventions, even those targeted at aged care and healthcare workers, can help lead to better mood perception, lower stress perception, and respond to stimuli more effectively, which have all shown to have a potentially positive effect on healthcare service. So mindfulness meditation has shown specifically to have beneficial effects on stress, depression, burnout, well-being and empathy among doctors, nurses and other healthcare workers. Mindfulness for everyone, um, mindfulness for everyone as a practice helps any of us become um, free from these stresses. It stops us from internalizing thoughts and beliefs and feelings in our minds which could impact our health negatively and helps us reframe the narrative and perception of them in a positive way, which again just improves our mental health. Mindfulness is the process of intentional paying attention to experiencing the present moment with curiosity, openness and acceptance of each experience without judgment. It's often described as attention to the present moment in a manner that's free from embellishment or reactivity. It's also defined as the awareness which emerges through paying attention non-judgmentally as experiences unfold moment to moment. There are many mindfulness meditation techniques like seated breathing you can do in your own time. These exercises are great because it can be five minutes, 10 minutes, half an hour to an hour, depending on what's suitable for you. And these small acts of mindfulness practices over long periods of time can be effective too. So it's a great way to improve mental health in a really convenient way. There are many different mindfulness-based interventions targeted at different populations, like students, for example, that can help teach and guide mindfulness meditation um, specifically for who you are. So you can find podcasts or downloads along with YouTube videos and advice from mindfulness experts all online that can be sourced for you to find what suits you the best. And mindfulness also helps build resilience because we're becoming aware of unhelpful feelings like the shame and the guilt and despair I mentioned earlier and helps us think about the things, whether it's taking a break or having a conversation with someone else or putting an action forward to improve ourselves and just taking the right course of action. It's important to recognize when you're burning out and feeling overwhelmed and when it's time to take a break before um, it takes it out on your body. So it's not selfish to look after yourself and that's so that you can look after others too. Mindfulness also helps with sleep and sleep quality. Um, sleep quality is being recognized as a predictor of physical and mental health, wellness and overall vitality. There's evidence that mindfulness can actually improve sleep quality by lowering hyperarousal, decreasing rumination and sleep latency. So mindfulness helps provide us with mental resources to calm down the nervous system in preparation for sleep. Sleep is so important for well-being mental health. At a biological level, meditation shows that the heart rate will slow down as well as the breathing and it will lower levels, levels of stress hormone cortisol. Exercise improves mental health too. It's linked to mindfulness because we're paying attention to our physical exertion as well as our thoughts. And it's possible that the concentration and awareness on our physical body could detract from being in a judgmental state and more into an observational state when in a physically active state. It also helps release chemicals like endorphins and serotonin that improve your mood. It's found that serotonin helps to both induce sleep and keep you up, but it's a chemical precursor to melatonin, the main hormone involved in sleep. So your body needs serotonin from your pineal gland to produce melatonin and both are important for the sleep-wake cycle.